Yongo Hewa Level Three Power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. It's、uh, TGIF. Woohoo! Woo the week is finally over.、Uh, oh, not yet. Okay, well, not yet. <laughs> we have one day left, Kristen.、Okay. Well, we've got Friday. One more day, Saturday. Yeah, I mean, well, our show is also on Saturday, but as far as the work week for most right. people, right? Okay, <laughs> most、that、people have、sense. to get through Friday still. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay, so、uh, of course, everyone、um, on Fridays we too talk about business. Yes, and we have a business dialogue for you.、Mm-hmm. And this month, all this month, we are going on a business trip to Las Vegas. Yes.、Uh, before it used to be, and it still is the gambling mecca, but you know Las Vegas is so much more than、mm-hmm. just gambling and hotels. Right. There、mm-hmm. used to be this image very much of casinos and mobsters, well, lots of bad things yeah, happening. Right. But now there are so many conventions there. Yeah. Like there is like a like new. Industries like all these industries、mm-hmm. have their big meetings in Las Vegas. Yes, so I wouldn't be surprised if people, you know, like in Korea,、mm-hmm. I know people that work at like the big tech companies mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. They have to go to Las Vegas to show their yeah, new products. I know,、yeah. I know. Okay, so there's an interesting question here. Did you clear it with accounting? Okay, accounting is hegetim. Yeah, right,、mm-hmm. but. Clear it with accounting. What is this? So to clear it means to get permission,、mm-hmm. to get the okay. We would say、mm-hmm. you ask them, "Hey, is it okay if I can do this?" If they say yes, that means you have cleared it. So、yeah. this title, did you clear it with accounting in Korean? Would be 회계 팀의 승인을 받았나요? Yes, 승인.、Yeah. 승인 is the key word, right?、Yeah. To clear it. It's interesting because this expression is not only used in business, and we'll give you more examples later.、Mm-hmm. Okay, all right.、Uh, aside from clear it with someone, get permission, singing. Yes.、Uh, we also have kick off. Yes.、Mm-hmm. So kick off means to begin, and it's usually something big like a project、mm-hmm. or a campaign. Right. Right. And then if you are on the ball, it means that you. Are prepared. You are quick to act. You have the skill needed to do something. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and listen to today's dialogue. Rachel, did someone book my flight for Las Vegas? The expo kicks off on Saturday, right? Yes, but the flight Ron is on is fully booked, so you may have to go a day early. Did you clear it with the accounting department? Don't worry, my assistant is finalizing all the details and will email you your itinerary. I'm glad somebody is on the ball. I wouldn't be able to organize this and still do my job. You should have everything you need by the end of the day. Please open your books, your Power English book. To page sixty-two, we have our dialogue business trip to Las Vegas. Did you clear it with accounting? Peter begins by saying, "Rachel, did someone book my flight for Las Vegas? The expo kicks off on Saturday, right?" Okay, so Peter is going to have to go to Las Vegas. Yes, and he says that the expo, short for exposition,、mm-hmm. kicks off on Saturday. Yes.、Mm-hmm. So first, kicks off. Kicks off means to begin.、Mm-hmm. So this expo is quite a big event, right? Right, right. So when you have a big event or a project or something like that,、mm. to kick off is very commonly used to mean to begin. So we can, like you mentioned earlier, kick off a campaign, kick off a, a special event,、mm-hmm. kick off. Can you kick off a project? You can if it's a big enough project. Okay, so the size is important. Yes.、Mm, mm. Okay. And another one with this expo here, of course, it is short for exposition. Yeah. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. But we do not often say the full word. No. So the Korean is pangnamhui. Yeah. But when you're talking about pangnamhui specifically. We just say expo, so we would say like the World Expo, for example. Yeah, and I, I feel like even in Korea they do actually use the word expo as、mm, well.、Mm. Okay, we would not. It would sound awkward to use the full word. That's right. That's right. Okay, so Rachel says yes, but the flight Ron is on. 
the flight Ron is on is fully booked, so you may have to go a day early. Okay, so Ron has a ticket.、Mm-hmm. That flight is fully booked. Yeah, no, no more, more seats. seats. No more seats. Okay,、mm-hmm. so you may have to go early. And Peter says, "Did you clear it with the accounting department?" Okay, so clear something with. So clear it with the accounting department. Yes,、mm-hmm. to get permission、mm-hmm. from the accounting department.、Mm-hmm. This is a very useful. Expression、mm-hmm. and very,、uh, how shall I say, commonly used. Yes. So, did you get permission? Is quite long, isn't、mm-hmm. it? Right. And clear because you have people say, "Okay, all clear," is like the signal to go ahead. Yes. Right. That word "clear" is actually like "tonga." Singing, yes, it has those meanings. Yeah.、Uh-huh. Yes, it is the word we will use sometimes for. Giving permission, right? Right. But here, with clear it with, it is often used in business to mean it is okay to do something. Yeah. Did you clear it with the boss? Right. Yeah. Is did the boss say it was okay?、Mm-hmm. But okay. How about in the home? Or can you use this inside the home? You can. So I would say between the parents,、mm-hmm. this is common. So、yeah. let's say a child comes up. To dad、uh, and said, "Dad, dad,、uh-huh. can I have a cookie?"、Uh, and then dad knows.、Mm-hmm. Oh, mom sometimes lets them have a cookie and sometimes doesn't. Yeah, well, not before the meal. Right. Okay. Yeah. Did you clear it with mom? Exactly. Yeah. It's another way of saying, "Did mom give you permission?" Right. Did you clear it with mom? Right.、Mm-hmm. So when you use this expression. It's usually with someone who has kind of the power or the influence to make the final decision. Yes. Right.、Um, sometimes, like, hey, you want to go fishing this weekend? You know, some buddies, right? Yeah. And、uh, well, I don't know. You know, okay.、Um, I guess I think I have to clear it with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. There is this kind of the feeling, like in that case,、uh, the wife is my boss. Yeah. So I need to clear it with her. Right. Right. And it can go the other way too.、Mm-hmm. Like, let's say if、uh, like the w- wife wants to make a purchase. Yes. But she wants to make sure with the husband that it's okay to make a big purchase. Right. She's like, I don't know. I need to clear it with my husband first. Okay. It goes、good. both ways. I、right? agree. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Great expression.、Uh, Rachel says, "Don't worry. My assistant is." Finalizing all the details, and we'll email you your itinerary. So Rachel is like, "Don't worry, my assistant is finalizing the details."、Mm-hmm. And this is a very business expression. It is to finalize the details, right?、Uh-huh. So to finalize means to make final. Complete all the preparations,、mm-hmm. and I've actually heard British people, especially older generations,、yes. hate this word. Really? Because it's such an American-sounding word. Really? Yeah. From what I heard, like now, younger people in the UK use it as well.、Mm-hmm. But finalize, they say it smells like an American word,、oh. American business.、Oh. Uh, yeah. So finalize.、Uh-huh. It's in the history of English. It's a little bit more of a a newer word and more American. And a bit more American, at least、uh. North American.、Uh. So it means to make final, to complete, to complete. So so. My assistant is completing all the details. Yes,、uh-huh. it's just a fancy way of yeah, saying yeah, making all the final preparations needed. Okay, finalize. Okay, what does Peter say? I'm glad somebody is on the ball. I wouldn't be able to organize this and still do my job. Okay, Peter, when he says I'm glad somebody is on the ball, yes, what is he really saying? I'm glad someone is well prepared. Someone is doing their job well. Someone knows what they're doing. Yeah, and they're taking care of all the problems. Right, because after he says, "I wouldn't, I couldn't do it."、Mm-hmm. Right, I couldn't organize this and still do my job. I can't do two things at once. Right.、Mm. So if you're on the ball, it means you're organized. You're prepared. If something changes, you can yeah, react. You can react right away.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like they're alert. Yes, they're kind of like on high alert. Yeah,、mm-hmm. and they they know what they're doing. It's、yeah. you don't have to worry about it because、yeah. they're going to get it done. Right. Yeah. There's no need to worry.、Mm. Okay, Rachel. You should have everything you need by the end of the day. We have a long power pattern today.、Mm-hmm. You should have everything you need is our power pattern. Yes. You should have everything you need. 
Well, there's nothing difficult about this expression,、mm-hmm. but what is it truly saying? So this is saying we have prepared everything for you.、Mm-hmm. So you're probably not going to need anything else,、mm. right?、Mm. It's a way of saying. Don't worry, we have prepared everything.、Okay. So you might even hear this at like a hotel. If you go to the room, you should have everything you need because、mm. we've already prepared your room for you. Okay, because of the good preparation,、mm-hmm. you should have everything you need. Yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, we'll give you more examples in just a bit. Let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. Rachel, did someone book my flight for Las Vegas? The expo kicks off on Saturday, right? Yes, but the flight Ron is on is fully booked, so you may have to go a day early. Did you clear it with the accounting department? Don't worry, my assistant is finalizing all the details and will email you your itinerary. I'm glad somebody is on the ball. I wouldn't be able to organize this and still do my job. You should have everything you need by the end of the day. It's time for Power Note. Please join us on pages sixty-four and sixty-five. Kick off means to begin something, but usually something kind of big. Yeah. Okay.、Mm. We don't really kick off the class today. Not no. usually. You can kick off the semester, maybe. Right, because it's、mm. mini classes, right? right? Okay.、Mm. When is this music festival going to kick off? The first band will go on stage at noon. Okay. The school kicked off the start of the year with a pep rally.、Mm-hmm. What is a pep rally? P E P rally. Yeah.、Mm. So this is maybe it's a very American thing,、mm-hmm. but. Before, like a big game, so、mm. especially with football, like a homecoming game,、mm. uh, they get all they end class.、Mm-hmm. The entire school goes to the gymnasium, yeah, and everyone like cheers,、yeah. and、Woo-hoo! there are like speeches、uh-huh. to get the school excited for the game、right. that night. That's、right. a pep rally. Okay,、yeah. so you can kick off、uh, the start of a new year, the start of. A music festival,、mm-hmm. right?、Uh, what other things can you kick off or not kick off? Right. Well,、mm. you could kick off like a marathon. Oh、uh, yeah, like a like a sporting event, right? Well, and this is a sports related phrase. So if you think of like soccer or football, yes. American football, yes, at the beginning of the game,、mm-hmm. there is that kickoff, that first、yes. kick that they do, right? Right. So that would be a kickoff. Okay. Um. Ah,、uh, could you kick off? A competition. You could, yeah.、Mm-hmm. You could kick it off if it's a big competition. Okay.、Uh, something you could not kick off is like、yeah. a a marriage. You can start a marriage, but to kick off a marriage, <gasps> yeah, would be a little weird. That's right. And I'm not sure why. It may be because. I also think there's no end to marriage, or like we hope that there's no end. Right. Like you、right. wouldn't. You could start life. But you couldn't kick off life, right? Because it just continues and continues. It just and, continues until and we、death. assume, yeah, yeah right.、Uh, Interesting. So I guess there is a limit both in how long and how short. Yeah, these events can be to kick off. Right, and I think that、uh, usually it's some sort of kind of event or something that's、uh, that maybe you can attend. Go、yeah. to. There's something like、yeah. before it happens, like there's、mm. planning or there's scheduling. Yes. And then like there's a program that you're going to follow yeah, the whole time. That you're going to follow and that you're going to go to. Yeah. Okay. Great. Clear it with someone is to get permission to do something. So it could be your boss, it could be your husband, your wife,、mm-hmm. mom, dad. Okay. Want to come to the beach this weekend with a few people from class? I'd love to, but I have to clear it with my parents. Okay. You have to get permission from、yeah. your parents. The parents have the authority. Sure, they、They're、do. They're the boss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.、Uh, for us, we have to clear it with the PD. Yeah, he's our boss. Clear it with the PD. Clear it with the CP. <laughs> clear it with the Pujang name. Yeah, that's right. We got a lot of people to clear things with. <laughs> All right. The teacher taught class outside for a day after she cleared it with the principal.、Mm-hmm. Right. Kyu Jang Nim. Yes, he's in charge.、Mm-hmm. So, oh, can we have the class outside? Well, first you got to ask the Kyu Jang Nim. You got to ask the principal. Yes, clear it with him.、Mm-hmm. Okay. This only works if you're getting permission from above.、Uh-huh. If you just need to ask if it's okay, yeah, from someone equal, beso- equal or, or below、lower. you, yeah, it feels a little weird、yes. sometimes. Like I don't know if you would clear it with your son. 
Never. There might be sometimes. Let's say like if you're buying a computer mm-hmm. and your son knows everything about computers and mm-hmm. you know nothing. Okay. In the area of computers, mm-hmm. maybe your son would be the authority, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, oh, I don't know what to buy. Let me mm-hmm. clear it with my son and see if the this is a good computer to buy. Right, right. There's a specific reason um, he has to know, he has to be an expert in that. Right. So that you can get his permission. Yes. Yes. But usually yeah. it is very much someone above you that you're needing to get permission from. Yes. Mm. Very good. Okay. Um, if you are on the ball, it means that you are very organized. You know what to do. But also, too, it means that you're very quick. Yes. Quick to action. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everyone needs to be on the ball today. It's going to be very busy. No problem. We all know what we need to do. Yeah. Mm. Right. So it's like, you know, do this. Okay. Right on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's that sort of immediate action yeah. when you're told to do something. I mean, you can definitely think of being on a ball. You know, mm-hmm. when you go to the circus and there's like elephants on oh. <laughs> standing on the ball? Yeah. Like they have to move quickly. Yeah. To stay on top of it. Right. Like you have to react to how the ball is moving. Yes. Did it go forward? Did it go back? Did it go left? Did it go like you have to hoo, 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 hoo. Right. Your reactions have to be very quick. That is the feeling with on the ball. Very good. Jake's assistant is always on the ball when he needs to adjust his schedule. Mm, mm-hmm. Adjusting schedule. Gotta do it quickly. Yeah. Oh, three o'clock won't work. Mm-hmm. Well, he has four thirty open if you can come for fifteen minutes. Yeah. Ugh. And let me tell you, you know, we have our live show evening mm-hmm. special. We really for an hour absolutely need to be on the ball. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of things that we have to think about. Mm-hmm. And we got to be quick. Yes. Right? Yeah, we do. All right. Our power pattern is you should have everything you need, which means it's taken care of. Yes. We've prepared it for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. You should have everything you need in that bag. You should have everything you need for a fun picnic. Okay. You don't have to bring anything else. That's right. Nothing it's extra. all there. It's all it's there. All there. Okay. So maybe another example is like um, you go to a conference and you're like, oh, do I have my laptop? Um, do I have this? Do I need, you know, all of this thing? Oh, don't worry. Your assistant says, you should have everything you need. I arranged it for you. Just take that bag and everything's in there. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like a mom who like packs the lunch for a kid. Mm. Like they have a field, field trip. trip. Yeah. And then she's like, you should have everything you need in your bag. Okay. Don't worry. All right. Okay. Our power vocab today is finalized. Do check out the word on page 66 and make sure you stop by Audio All Hak Dong and pay a very small fee to listen to all of these wonderful programs on EBS Radio. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.